storing and separating gases, those are two different issues and two different applications that we have to tackle differently. From a storing perspective, we typically look into a material that has higher capacity and we are looking for the deliverable capacity, not how much it stores, but how much after we store we take out of the system without having to go to high pressures. High pressures cost money and money is, is an issue sometimes. Uh, on the separation part, we are looking for materials to be stickier for certain gases or chemicals, but not others. Uh, in some cases, we make the material sticky for the gas of choice. In other cases, we make them stickier for the impurities to remove. So the way we think about it in the lab and the way we use instruments to measure separations and storage sometimes a little different. All gases are unique and they differ in two main ways. So the first way is their polarizability, which you can think of as their stickiness. And the second way is their size. Um, so because of all these unique properties of gases, they each have an optimal storage method. We can take advantage of um, a gas molecule's polarizability or size to develop programmable materials um, for that specific gas. So for example, we can even um, make materials that can selectively store a specific gas and not another gas um, just by altering a MOF's pore sizes or even by altering the hydrophobicity, hydrophilicity um, of a MOF. We can utilize the high porosity of a metal organic framework or a MOF to store interesting gases such as natural gas or hydrogen that can really transform the energy sector. Additionally, we can use the tunability of a MOF to provide alternative ways to conduct uh, traditionally energy intensive separations within the energy sector as well. In healthcare, we can use MOFs to provide an on demand delivery of oxygen for patients who are suffering from COPD or other chronic respiratory illnesses. Additionally, in our group, as well as others, we are trying to use MOFs to immobilize enzymes as well as provide a plat platform for drug delivery. Having the right team is great, having the instrument is fantastic, but at the end of the day, you need both. And uh, I am lucky enough to work with uh, those brilliant graduate students and postdocs and visiting scholars and research associate. We build a team of about 30 people here at Northwestern that we are devoted to uh, energy-related uh, application, to defense-related applications.